Hyperconnectivity fundamentally redefines the way enterprises, individuals and governments relate to each other. Combine it with new ways to create values for businesses and society and you will see why leaders are so desperate for a roadmap that will help them to start understanding and embracing this new reality. The Global Information Technology Report analyzes the drivers and impacts of ICT on the economy, allowing countries to measure and benchmark their ability to leverage this technology. Through its Network Readiness Index, the report measures the ICT infrastructure, the cost of accessing this infrastructure, and the presence of the necessary skills to ensure an optimal use. The update can use of ICT by government, business and individuals, the business innovation environment and regulatory framework, and finally, the economic and social impacts of ICT. There are several interesting findings, but we would like to highlight four. The first one is that the Nordic countries and the Asian Tigers continue to dominate the digital landscape and they remain in the top 10 of our ranking. The second finding relates to a big gap between developed countries on the one hand and developing countries and emerging countries on the other hand, not only in terms of ICT infrastructure, but in terms of the benefits that ICT can provide to improve their competitiveness and well-being. This divide is happening also within regions, in Europe and Asia, in North Africa and the Middle East, in Sub-Saharan Africa and in Latin America. The fourth finding relates to the presence of an investment threshold. There is a certain minimum investment. Once this threshold has been achieved, we observe that there are increasing marginal returns to those investments. While countries and international organizations use it to share their policy experiences, industry partners utilize the report to highlight their thought leadership. We hope this report will help policymakers, business leaders and the civil society to take action and unleash the full potential of ICT.